It's a beautiful fall day here in Vancouver, and I want to take you on a ride to downtown Vancouver to see one of the famous skyscrapers that we have. Very Art Deco, very old. You've seen it on television and in many movies. Now let's go check it out today. Growing up is just a trap. Just a big fat trail. So folks, we are in the Marine Building. It is one of our most famous buildings in Vancouver because it's so exquisitely Art Deco. It has been used in many TV and uh, films, uh, both Fantastic Four movies. This was the Baxter Building. They lived up on the top. And Smallville used it for the Daily Planet, I think. And uh, Blade Trinity also. Anyway, let's check out this exquisite Art Deco. I am uh, on the mezzanine level. Let's go take a look down. It's unbelievable. Built in 1930, over budget for 2.2 million. A year or two later, it was sold to the Guinness family, you know, the, the Booze family, <laughs> for 900,000. They took a bath because, as you guys know, the depression happened right at 1930, so. Uh, there was an observation deck on the top, and it cost 25 cents to go up there, but people couldn't even afford that. So the uh, owner built a two-level, actually three-level, two-story beautiful penthouse, which on rare occasion you can get to uh, go up there and see. But let's check out this beautiful Art Deco mezzanine. Notice on the walls, there's a lot of marine-themed things because you know we live on the ocean here in Vancouver, so that's why it's called the Marine Building. But I think this place is just absolutely gorgeous and a fine example of Art Deco. And check out that stained glass window over on the other side. Exquisite architecture. See, so check out this Art Deco elevator. Isn't it the bomb? Let's see if we can go up to the top. No, it won't let us. But we can go back to the main floor. Exquisite. 